Nikosi Johnson uh, was born in South Africa, and he was born with HIV-AIDS. He lost his mom and dad and brother and sister to the disease. And um, when he was about eight years old, as he looked out in his community, he noticed people were not seeking help. They weren't seeking treatment. They were afraid. And so when he was eight years old, he decided he would use his voice. So he began to speak in his community. And then a large congregation of folks for the, an AIDS conference came to Johannesburg and asked him to speak there. So he spoke for thousands of people, this tiny boy. And then he was taken to Europe and spoke for thousands of more people. Wow. And then he met Oprah. And we know what happens when you meet Oprah. <laughs> you know your story goes out and your voice goes out. Mm -hmm. So his story became a worldwide story. And he knew he did not have a long time to live. He died in 2001 at 12 years old of AIDS, HIV AIDS. And, but his story has gone on. Um, Jim Wooten was an ABC correspondent, and he heard about Nicosi and went and spoke and went to interview him and then wrote a book about him eventually called We Are All the Same. Well, we heard this radio show, and then we heard Nicosi speak on the air. And Nicosi said, do all you can with what you have, in the time you have, in the place you are. And we were so moved by his statement that we carried his story with us and told his story for quite a while. And then Robert wrote the song, Do All You Can. That's his story and his words. Robert, would you mind now leading us to that song? It would be my pleasure. Hmm. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned and stand by.
This is a gift they gave to us to share wherever we go. You can be the change you wish to see in the world. And now I understand what they wanted us to know. They said, do all you can with what you have in the time you have, in the place you are. Do all you all you can with what you have in the time you have in the place you are do all you can do all you can One little boy in Africa, do all you can. Holy Mother in India, do all you can. You can be the change you wish to see in the world. Do all you can. Do all you can. Do all you can. journey of one world one dream in the spirit of unity yeah. do all you can do mm -hmm. it moves me it shifts me into finding out just a little bit more information about your workshops with the children now mm -hmm. would you please sure we do workshops with youth different ages of, of youth all across the country we have a program called voice matters yes as we want to empower children to know that what they say, what they feel, and what they think is very valuable and actually makes a big difference in the world. So we do a series of, of, of songs and processes that allow them to learn um, how much impact they have. And it's very interactive and very, very dynamic, very exciting program. Of course, for kids, it has to be fun. So they're fun songs and songs they can sing along with and easy and fun and we let them co-create because you, you make up your own verses. Kid stuff, you know. Yeah, working divine with... Divine ideas, Robert. That's what it is. It's divine it's ideas. It's making up stuff. And it's working all with about kids, divine ideas. Working with kids is often like getting on a roller coaster. You know, you just start your journey with them and however long the process takes, oftentimes there's big ups and big downs and big and you, swerves. And you, and hang you, just, you just hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's well, fascinating work. And it's you know it work. best. Because you two are like children of God. <laughs> we are children of God. So we'll, we'll work with four, 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 fifth, and sixth graders. Ah. That's one way. And then we work with... Um, Middle-aged. Middle-aged. Middle, 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 middle school. Middle school. <laughs> <laughs> middle school kids, middle which is a whole other you know, way of doing things. And then, you know... Um, high school, Why Y-O-U, yeah, which high is school high kids. school. and so. so much fun, isn't it? Yeah. So much fun. So much beauty. Children are so beautiful and have so much... Uh, potential and hope and we just want to let our music and our energy support them in their journey of finding their way it's a complicated world and they need I think I feel that they need to be anchored or learn how to anchor themselves to their own hearts desire because uh -huh. then they uh, they're, they're our leaders they're our future so they're they're to be respected and honored and not discarded absolutely so, and that leads me to my question okay this